In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the downstream oxygen sensor on this Ford F-350 with the 6.2 liter V8 engine. There's one on each catalytic converter, same part, same procedure, let's get started. It can be somewhat difficult to locate the end of the connector for this just because it's tucked up behind another harness. You can see it right up there in blue. This right here is the driver's side. Now the passenger side will look exactly the same with the engine up here and the rest of the exhaust back there. So we're actually looking from the front of the truck towards the back. Having said that, let's reach up for that blue connector and unplug the O2 sensor first. <clears throat> Press on this little tab here and pull the connector apart. There we go. Sometimes these get stuck from debris getting built up in there, so just shake it out if needed. And on top of the catalytic converter, we have the O2 sensor right over here. I'm going to use a 22 millimeter wrench on it just because for me this fits the best over an oxygen sensor socket. If you want to use an O2 sensor socket, go right ahead. But once again, 22 millimeter also fits. Use a rubber mallet or hammer on the end of the wrench to break it free. You may or may not need to use some heat right over here to heat up the threads. And now you can just unthread it. There it is. Take your new sensor, slide it right in and thread it on. You'll see that it has a little washer there. That's the crush washer that we need to squish down at the end to create a tight seal so that there's no exhaust leaks. Try not to twist the wire too much. If it twists a little bit, that's all right, but try to keep it nice and straight. That just bottomed out by hand, so let's grab the wrench and tighten it up. That's snug right there. I'll give it a little bit extra. There we go, nice and tight. That is properly installed. You don't need to make it extremely tight, you just need to snug it and like I said, squish that little crush washer. Now we have to plug it back in, grab the connector, line it up, and when you press it on, you wanna hear a click, otherwise it means it's not fully locked in yet. There we go. That clicked in, tuck it back up where it was, and you would repeat the same thing on the other side if needed. Just wanna make sure the wire is out of the way of anything that could melt it, such as the rest of the exhaust, or of course the drive shaft if you're on the driver's side. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.